My dad got executed just by trying to save his own life. The officers was not in no harm of him at all. The family of Andrew Brown Jr. has now watched his final moments unfold on body camera footage behind closed doors. His loved ones and their attorneys saying they were only able to view a redacted version just 20 seconds long with some officers' faces blurred, explaining that what they saw was disturbing. Guns drawn pointing at him while his hands are on the steering wheel. They're shooting and saying, let me see your hands at the same time. Calls for transparency growing louder. Peaceful protesters demanding the full raw video be released to the public. We only saw a snippet wow. of the video. Mm -hmm. Why couldn't the family see all of the video? Right, right. Brown was killed last Wednesday in Elizabeth City as deputy sheriffs attempted to execute warrants related to felony drug charges. So guys, Ian Nelson has got one male, 42 years of age, gunshot to the back. A neighbor who says she witnessed the shooting says Brown did not pose a threat to the officers when they opened fire. He was nonviolent. I can anybody that knew him would tell you that he was driving away. If any of my deputies broke any laws or violate any policies that come out through this investigation, they will be held accountable. The Pasquotank County attorney releasing a statement saying in part, officials are continuing efforts to get a court order that would allow the video to be released to the public. Officials have placed seven sheriff's deputies on paid administrative leave as they investigate what exactly happened. One of the attorneys representing Brown's family says they were told by investigators that no drugs or weapons were found at the scene. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.